Hello there! In today's video, I'm going to show you the quickest and easiest way to add a lightsaber into Affinity Photo 2 on the iPad. So let's get into it and may the force be with you. Here we are inside Affinity Photo 2 on the iPad. And the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to bring up our dock and we're going to bring our photos app to the right hand side. And I'm going to choose this photo. This is kind of a, a Star Wars type background. And I'm just going to click and drag it into Affinity Photo 2 and straight away it opens it up in its own project. And if I just flick that window away, now we have our background, but we need a subject to put on the background. And to do that, I'm just going to go back out and I'm going to click on my son, Micah. Now I've already cut this guy out. And if you're wondering how I did that, and this is a slight plug because I'm going to plug my online course, which is currently at the time of recording 70% off. And as you can see from this trailer, I've called it the ultimate masterclass course in this class. I make a poster completely on the iPad, all using Affinity Photo 2. And it's a lot of fun. I mean, a lot of fun. And in this course, you'll find out how I cut out my son and myself and my other son and daughter and how I added the effects and all that good stuff. That course, along with something I called the Ultimate Lunch Bundle, where I have another online course and a Sabre FX pack, which we're gonna look at in this video. I have bundled all those things up and I'm currently selling it for 70% off and it's coming in at $89. So if that might interest you, click on the link below. It's for a limited time only. It's extremely good value. There's over 13 hours of professional training from myself. But getting back to this video, this is my son Micah and I'm simply gonna click on the layer. I've got him selected. I'm gonna go to the three dots and click copy. I'm gonna hit back. I'm then going to tap into this project and simply by swiping three fingers down the iPad, it brings up this menu and I'm going to hit paste. And you maybe, you're maybe saying, Andrew, where's Mike gone? But he's there. If I click on the move tool, you'll see he is absolutely massive. And I'm just going to bring him down using the Apple Pencil. And I'm going to get him in a, in a rough position. I'm going to get him in a rough position. Where do I, th where do I think he looks? Kind of cool. Should I maybe make them a little bit bigger? And kind of think that looks quite cool there. What I might be tempted to do just to sell this effect a little bit more is, is just to blur out the background. And I'm just doing this before we get to adding a lightsaber and all that. It's just nice to get a scene that's looking right and well. So I'm going to click in the background. I'm going to click on the filters studio on the right hand side and I could scroll down to the blurs or I could just hit this menu up here and it's showing me all the blurs. I want Gaussian blur so I'm just going to tap into it and with the Apple Pencil you can pick how blurry you want it to be or you can just tap and maybe three pixels is enough for me and we can see by clicking on the split icon that's it before and after before and after, and, and I really like blurring it. It just, I think, it makes Micah the main focus. My son Micah here, it makes him the main focus and the background just without it being super sharp, with it being a bit blurry, I think that looks good. And always remember to tick it. And now that's applied the blur into our background. So this is the fun bit. This is the fun bit. We're going to add a lightsaber and we're going to look at blend modes here. So, and as I said a short while ago, as well as a masterclass course and another training course, I've also got something that I call Sabre FX. Sabre FX is something I've been working on very, very hard in the background. And you can use it not just in Affinity Photo, but also on Photoshop and any design package. And we're going to look at that just now. We're going to bring up the dock, click on our files icon, and I've already got the folder here, Sabre FX. And there is 100 and 55 sabers or lasers or, or different things. And we'll look at a few of them. We'll go to the start. And the brilliant thing about this pack is a 16K. You've heard of HD, you've heard 4K, you maybe even heard of 6 or 8K. This is 16K. These files are absolutely massive. And I'm just going to flick through these now. Some traditional lightsabers you might see in Star Wars and some laser beams, all different sizes, all different colors and shapes. And now, I quickly want to look, I could go on for, for ages here. There's there's tons, absolutely tons. That there one looked quite cool, but what kind of lightsaber would 
mica have i've seen that green one and if i zoom in you can see the detail the detail is brilliant maybe you want something a little thicker although that there looks kind of cool too but let me see i'll maybe go back to the start the first few lightsabers are more traditional lightsabers although i like something like that that looks like a wee bit more like kylo ren's lightsaber and would make a like a blue lightsaber green or really like red not red he's a good guy maybe green we'll maybe cho choose the green lightsaber so we'll bring a finley photo back up again We'll bring our files pack to the right hand side. The same thing we did for the photos and saber fx underscore zero zero two. And we're going to simply just going to click and drag and drop. And look at that. It's massive. I told you it's 16 K. The quality is absolutely unbelievable. If we shrink this down, look how big that is. It is. It's massive. Absolutely massive. So we'll bring it down. And I like putting that on the top layer. And the nice thing about it, it tells you Saber FX002. So we've got our background, we've got Mega, we've got our Saber FX. And the great thing about blending modes, when they're on a black background, they can blend into anything so, so easy. Blending modes in Affinity Photo is found on the Layer Studio. If we're clicking a layer, this here is where we change our blending modes. We can either go right, or left and you can see what's happening there and a lot of these aren't looking great and then you get the lighting and you go that's that's not bad and you go to screen and you go that's better again and we can click and all these ads not too bad overlays not bad sometimes depending on the situation depending on the background it depends what blending mode you can choose and simply by tapping it i'll do that again by tapping on say pin light you can now go very quickly and this is the way instead of going left and right and we we'll still go left and right in this mode but instead of going left and right I prefer just tapping on the blending mode and then just circling through to see what's best and in this case we're probably going to go screen or lighten normally screen is the one when you're adding lightsabers to something like this is what we want to do and now all we do so we'll try to get into this in the position. And you might be thinking to yourself, Andrew, why have you got a pole stuck in this lightsaber with orange, with orange bit of tape on this bit of wood? And many, many, many years ago, I tried to make a Star Wars fan film. I say try because I didn't get it completed. And there was lightsaber shots. There was dressing up. It was a lot of fun. But to make to make adding the lightsabers much easier in a package called After Effects, if I taped up the orange, it really, the orange really stood out from the background and it made, it made that really cool. And if I had time, I'd actually show you a clip of that, but I think we'll have to do that another time. But that was a Star Wars, a Star Wars fan film that I worked on in my university days and I had an, a lot of fun doing that. And I've still got my lightsaber, this was handmade. And I've still got the polls and my university days aren't yesterday. So it's been in or around my house a long time. So enough about that. I'm now moving this into position. And because it's 16K, I'm going to make it quite big and it's still not losing any quality. I think I'm just a little off there. So I'm going to slightly move into this place or into, into place and I'll, I'll move this down here oh no two fingers to undo and i think it was maybe better where it was if i move it back a little bit and i'll maybe just make it a little or maybe a, a decent bit bigger and i'm just two fingers to move around the canvas and i think i think this is better if we move this in the place I'm just looking down here and in my course we'll look at how we can neaten this up a lot better using liquify and i'll not do it on today's video but that's looking really good you might be saying andrew you can still see a little bit behind this saber and you're 100 right what i would do in this case is i would hide the saber fx layer i will go down to the mega layer hit plus 
hit empty mask layer. And now we're just going to mask this bit out because we don't need it really. It was just there for reference. So it's on black. We'll twirl down to the mask layer. And if you're not sure about masks in the course, we'll talk a lot about masks. And by the end of the course, you'll be an, an absolute expert in masks. But there's also a video on my YouTube channel here, which goes quite in depth about masks too. Check that out. The thing about masks is when we've got white here, black hides, white reveals. So we're just simply, we're on black. So now... I can just mask this here out. And really, if I want it, I could use the eraser tool and just erase that. But I just wanted that bit out because I think the rest of the saber hides that bit quite well. And look at that. That really didn't take too long. I'll maybe just make it big here or I'll hide all the toolbars. That really didn't look too long from getting my son, getting a background in, Make it, making it look as if he's in a green lightsaber. And if you really if you really wanted it to make it stand out, what makes it even better is we'll go to the background and we're going to darken the background because lightsabers are cool. This looks fairly, I would say fairly natural, fairly natural for a Star Wars type picture. But if we wanted to make the background a bit darker, the lightsaber would stand out even more. And we're just going to go in to the Adjustment Studio and I think we'll just go down to exposure. And I'm just doing this very quickly. I'm just bringing the exposure down ever so slightly. I think that's too... I don't think that looks realistic because we'd have to bring Micah down. Or we could bring Micah down too. But maybe just... Maybe by bringing... What's that down to? Minus 0.66. Just by bringing the exposure down. And just... We're going to turn that on and off. That's what it was. So that's what it is now. That's what it was. That's what it is now. Personal preference. What do I prefer? I'm not sure. I actually, I know it stands out more on the darker background, but I think it just blends in nicer like that. Although now I say that, I'm not quite sure. This here set up for nice text or something like this. This would be a brilliant birthday party invitation or something like this. Come to my birthday party or something like that. And if we if we weren't sure... We could go up here beside the blending mode. There's opacity. And if I click into it, say if I make it 50%, and sometimes I do that, if I, if I do an adjustment layer, and I'm not sure whether I like before or after, sometimes I'll just set the opacity to 50%. And that kind of meets it in the middle. And I'm really happy with that. And I think that looks really, really cool. And I think that'll do us for this video. In my course, we take this one step further because there's green, this is a green lightsaber. So green, you can see a bit of green effect in his face and it's not really affecting his face. It's just because the saber layer, there's a green glow, glow around it. But on my course, if I bring up the poster very quickly, on my course, I'll show you how to add green, green highlights to make his face. And I'll just show you the finished poster of that in case you haven't seen it. And like here, he's got a blue lightsaber and I've added blue highlights to him. And that really sells the effect. And there's a bit of red on him because that's coming from my other son's lightsaber. And you can really see up here, this, this looks so, so cool. The red of the lightsaber reflects on my eldest son and it reflects on myself. And then my daughter, she's got a bit of blue and red. And we also do the same kind of effect down here. So that's that was my big project. That is it my masterclass project, but just getting back, back again to this. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun just to take an image, to put the saber effects on it, to change the blend mode of it, add a bit of a background. That was really fun. Hopefully you enjoyed it too. And I know I've kind of plugged my saber effects and my masterclass. And I suppose I'm doing it because I put in so, so much work into these courses and for a limited time, there's 70% off, $89. If you sign up, if you do the courses, you will be an Affinity Photo 2 master. I've no doubt about that. I teach you everything I can about Affinity Photo 2 while doing a project, which is a lot of fun. Please feel free to check it out in the description below. And if you're not interested in the Masterclass course or the Ultimate Lunch Bundle, you'll maybe be interested in just purchasing the Sabre FX Pack 
by itself for $24. So there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something. And I know I mentioned about Masterclass a few times and the bundle a few times and Saber FX a few times. So if that interests you, please click on the link below. So until the next time, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. And may the force be with you.